What do you recommend to somebody who ha is a parent of a teen who's kind of staying in their room a lot, you know, especially through COVID, all these things that these kids are going through? Um, how do you know that it's really serious versus just a normal teenager reaction? Communication. So communication is key. Don't be afraid to ask what's happening. And then and then pay attention to, are they giving away their prized possessions? Do you hear them talking about, well, I don't know why I bother to live? Or, you know, bringing up things they wouldn't normally bring up. If their friend, friend um, circle starts to shift drastically and quickly, if their mm. friends change, there's something happening. If they're starting to participate in things that they didn't participate in, drinking, pot, you know, whatever it is, um, dangerous um, explorations, you know. Um, well, I'll get back to that story in a moment, but, or if they um, isolate themselves more. Yeah. Well, or, or if their sleep patterns off, like they're sleeping all the time or they're not sleeping at all, or they have major outbursts on a regular basis. You know, hormones are hormones and there are outbursts, but it's not always. So what if you try talking about it and they're like, I'm fine, and they won't talk about it? Well, one of the things I might say is I'm concerned for your mental well-being and I could be way off and I hope I am. So it's not about accusing, it's really about having an open dialogue. Listen, I love you with all my heart and I would do anything I can to make it better for you, but I can't do that unless you talk with me. And so I'm concerned for your life. Have you ever considered taking your life? Okay.